Say goodbye to messing around with meta rigs, outdated methods, and creative limitations. Here's our amateur rigging modules. The add-on I can rig pretty much any character within under 15 minutes. Complete with automatic FK to IK and IK to FK, not just some lame one-way snapping solution. Not to mention it's easily set up to fit any character you care to throw at it. Before I give you a quick rundown of the way things work, I need to mention that this particular add-on is not completely finished and may never be, as I will continue to develop new and update the existing rigging modules, both my own skills and the industry techniques advance. That being said, the general methods of adding, removing, editing and controlling these rigging modules that I'm about to show you should stay roughly the same, just keep an eye out for new buttons and parameters. Also, like my armature deform controls, if you're using Mr. Mannequin's tools, this add-on ships with it and overwriting that version could make Mr. Mannequin start a panicin. So, I'm treating my rigging modules a little like material slots on meshes and they use a similar UI list interface. The settings and controls for the active rigging appear below this UI list once we've chosen a module to use. I've added some default display settings which you may or may not want, I just hate animating with bone shapes that look like something from a 1980s hacker movie. Everything in the settings panel should not be keyframed and is only there to enable you to easily tweak the module variables to fit any armature mesh combination. All the controls in the control panel start off with pretty standard defaults and are for easy access to keyframeable settings that more advanced animators might want to use. If in doubt, I've tried to make sure all my properties have tooltips to help you out and I will be adding an optional toolbar for the controls to the 3D viewport when I find the time. Editing all these rigging modules manually on the fly can be quite demanding and difficult, so I've recently written an automatic update system for that. Although it might still have a couple of bugs, when the automatic update boolean is set true, if we tab into edit mode on the armature, all the mechanical and control bones get hidden for us, so they don't get in the way of moving around their source bones. Then when we tab back out of edit mode, any changes made to the source bones will cause the rigging modules to be regenerated in their new position so you don't have to move around dozens of bones or fiddle with any drivers when characters get iterated on. This is not something that should be done after animating, at least not yet. I do plan to work on some code for updating animations to new rest poses at some point, but right now doing this will corrupt animations as expected. Now, we have a fair few modules in this initial release, but each one is fairly complex, and I'd like to do deep dives into each of them so that people can understand more about how the rigging mechanics actually work. So I'll just use a few of them to showcase the basics of using the add-on, and I hope I don't get too many beginners hassling me in either of my Discord servers. Here's an arm. Let's give it an opposable IK chain. If you notice, the add-on automatically detected the hand bone I had selected and used that to find the rest of the bones needed to set up the chain. In the settings panel, we can tweak the directional axis and distance the pole target is created along amongst other settings. This is a basic two bone soft IK chain with a pole that can be switched between IK and FK both manually and automatically. It's often used for controlling arms. I wasn't sure what to call it, so it got the term opposable as it meets the definition of the word opposable. Now, let's add a slightly more advanced chain for this leg. This plantigrade rigging has picked up the foot we had selected, but we still need to define the pivot point for the foot controls, which will be the toe bone in this example. And once we've given the module the information it needs to add the rigging, it loads it up for us. A plantigrade IK chain is a two bone soft IK chain with a pole target that can be switched between IK and FK, but also has some standard foot rolling controls. The term for a creature that walks on its heel is plantigrade. And for a final example, let's show some rigging that many people may not be very familiar with, but is significantly more usable than bendy bones. The spline IK module is a, well, it's a spline IK chain that follows a curve. Again, the add-on has picked up the bone I selected at the end of the chain and found the source bones it needs from that. We can increase and decrease the length of the chain to fit whatever we are rigging and define which of the source bones should have targets, and which direction their custom bone shapes are facing, and set the distance of the targets and the curve shape from the source bones. Then, for animation controls, it has a fit to curve option that can be interpolated to get different results. This one doesn't do IK versus FK, as the source bones rotations are offset from the rigging, however, I'd like to add that functionality in the future. In fact, I think I'd like to do some further iterations on this spine rigging to make it even better, maybe with some optional twist controls and more parenting options. I did say this was going to be a work in progress. And there we go, explore, experiment, and enjoy this add-on. It's very fast and efficient to use once you know what you're doing with it, and the animation controls can be as simple or complex as you need them to be. There is a lot more to come for it, including combination modules for face and hand rigging, as well as more standard modules for wings and things. And I'll continue to keep updating and improving everything. And I might even see if I can write some algorithms that will rig entire preset characters from just a few bone names. I mean, I've already turned most of my two to three hour rigging jobs into 15 minutes. Let's see if I can't make it 15 seconds. For my Mr. Mannequin users that want finger IK, swapping out rigging modules is as easy as selecting and removing the rigging from the list and adding in the alternative. Oh, and all my default shapes should scale to fit your mesh as desired. They were all made to be scalable. 
I should really start doing proper written documentation for these add-ons, but for now I'd like to say a massive thank you to Dicko for suggesting the spine rigging, as well as say a thank you to Pierre Pacau, I hope I pronounced that right, as many of his older videos got me started into developing my own rigging techniques. And let's not forget Brad Clark from Rigging Dojo for testing and breaking everything I do on more advanced armatures from Maya. You can get the add-on for free on Gumroad, donations are always appreciated, as well as the releases section of my Blend GitHub repo. And maybe you can buy it on Blender Market if I decide to upload it there. Be sure to subscribe and click that stupid bell because I'll be doing deep dive tutorials into each of these rigging modules and all of their code so you can better understand how they actually work. And I'll probably be doing animation tutorials using them as well. All relevant links below. Rest in peace, Rigify. Thank you for watching and please consider becoming a patron. The more support I get, the more money I'm going to give to Blender every month and it helps keep all my free projects free forever. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you next time.